going on you savages welcome back to another wwe 2k18 news and rumors now as you guys know my coverage for the next game embrace our news rumors speculations concepts and everything else what well, today we're going to be focusing heavily and specifically on rumors and that is because what we are about to discuss is coming from wikipedia and as we know wikipedia could be edited by anyone which could also imply that it could be written by somebody who actually knows about the game and want to let us know of what's to come and start the hype because as we know announcements and reveals are gonna start coming up soon and as a matter of fact i have a timeline video for you guys revealing all the expected announcement dates and reveals that are gonna be happening for the game so look out for that because it certainly took me a lot of work to do a lot of research and everything else it took me at least a week and a half to complete it i think it's finally ready you guys should be seeing it very soon nonetheless back to the topic at hand talking about the rumors in regards to wwe 2k18 and what has been updated in wikipedia again anything i discussed from this point on it's gonna be just rumors guys so keep that in mind so i went to the wwe 2k wikipedia page and i searched for anywhere in the page that it says wwe 2k 18 and first thing that i came across was probably one of the most interesting one and that is the listing of the game wwe 2k 18 visual concepts ux 2k sports ps4 windows and xbox one meaning that is the game not gonna be coming out for xbox 360 and ps3 now we we did discuss last year that WWE 2K17 was said to be the last WWE game that is made for the last gen just because of production in general for Xbox 360 and PS3 was gonna be ending. So again I'm not talking about WWE 2K just not making it for the last gen but that Sony and Microsoft respectively were gonna be stopping PS3 and Xbox 360 games production. The expected release date for the game which I did not find it to be interesting at all is October 24th. 2017 the reason for that is because of course last year's game came out much earlier in the month which i would assume that it was going to be a thing that they were going to be doing from now on bringing it at the beginning of the month instead of at the end but again i remind you that this episode of wwe 2k18 news and rumors is heavily focused strictly on rumors moving on to probably the most interesting part of this and that is that it is listing seth rollins as the pending cover art athlete and this rumor i could certainly get behind just because last year we did get reports indicating that apparently Seth Rollins was going to be the cover star of the game and then we got report that Roman Reigns was going to be it then the shield but as we know ultimately ended up being Brock Lesnar so could this be the year that the whole shield or actually a shield member is in the cover star of the game now that is a lot of rumors to take in but we're going to keep it going the next time that the WWE 2k18 is mentioned in the WWE 2k game page is under gameplay where it says that WWE 2k18 will tweak the lag time for rolling out of triple threat or fatal four-way matches new omg moment with the likes of sasha banks and also kevin owens and up next we're gonna get into the really good stuff that i hope it just comes true and that this is just not a rumor in regards to 2k showcase mode it looks like 2k showcase mode is gonna be returning and wwe 2k18 returns with wwe 2k showcase mode and it will chronicle the authority era 2013 to 2016 the footage you in this showcase will be truncated as this story was lengthy upon its time on wwe television for three and a half years some superstar may not appear in the showcase physically but may only appear through archival video packages there will be highlights from daniel bryan seth Rollins, brock lesnar and roman reigns among others that is beast because what i'm comparing this to right now was the attitude era the story mode that was the main focus of wwe 13 which was great and pretty much did the same thing where it took top superstars of that era and we follow a story of them throughout that era up next a rumor in regards to universe mode wwe 2k18 will carry over the features from the previous games obviously but it will add two presentation styles modern and new era modern reuses the arena styles from previous wwe 2k games while new era is an updated arena view currently used on wwe programming also wwe 2k18 will embark a return of the wwe draft system so since the draft is returning i really really hope that we get the whole gm mode system back i got my fingers crossed right now because i really hope that we do get gm mode back moving on to my career mode not much update here but it says that wwe 2k18 will combine every feature used from wwe 2k15 16 and 17 incorporating the mode to be more enthusiastic and equal to wwe universe mode for exhibition mode the only thing listed for wwe 2k 
thing is that it will introduce the ambulance match under extreme rules which is great because if we are getting one of these new matches chances are we're going to be getting i quit match special referee matches and hopefully we do i've been covering all of this in my wish list series so i really hope that they are listening and the last piece of rumor that is listed is the following in regards to the roster wwe 2k18 will carry 138 character for the physical disc version 140 if we pre-order it and also introduces a special edition version entitled the cruiserweight edition replacing the nxt roster as the game roster reflects from the changes after the event of wrestlemania 33 and the superstar shakeup on monday night raw and smackdown live okay that was a lot to take in again so we're gonna be getting two pre-order bonuses which means we could be getting the hardy boys or kurt angle and somebody else or we might actually have to wait for kurt angle until the hall of fame dlc comes out another thing to take in is that it looks like the cruiserweight division will be in the game and instead of a nxt edition we're gonna be getting a cruiserweight edition i don't necessarily know how i feel about that edition just because i feel like nxt will sell more copies just because nxt is obviously much more popular but it certainly should be interesting how it's done nonetheless guys that is what i have for you guys for this episode of wwe rumors i know a pretty long episode but i wanted to cover everything in regards to the rumors of the game in one single video as you guys know i like to cover everything here and i know this is rumors and it might not actually come true but it's stick around because actual news and reviews are going to be coming out pretty soon like i said i got a timeline video coming out for you guys which i did last year and it was pretty popular but anyways you savages that is what i have for you guys i'm probably shooting myself in the head right now because this shit might not even come true but anyways i hope you guys get it that this is rumors thank you guys for watching to be fully up to date on everything subscribe to the channel turn on those notification and elbow drop that like button for me come on because the news are about to start dropping pretty soon look out for next month it's gonna be a good one join savage squad because we're in the road to 20,000 subscribers i'm going to dig it